our next talk is by uh, Vidwan Dr. Jamala Madaka Srinivas Ji. And he will be speaking on the topic, Is Advaita Crypto Buddhist? Exploring the Prachanna Bauddha arguments with respect to Gaudapadacharya and Adi Shankaracharya. Uh, before I, uh, I, uh, I uh, request him to speak, here is a brief introduction. Uh, Srinivasji studied Tarka Shastra under Sri Am Ambadi Pudi Rade Shama Shastriji and he studied Advaita Vedanta under Sri Manidravid Shastrigal and Vyakarana under Sri Ganti Dattatraya Murtiji. Srinivasji has completed Tenali exams in Tarka Shastra and has appeared for Tenali exams in Advaita Vedanta. He has completed his MPhil and PhD in Nyaya Shastra. He was previously working as assistant professor at the School of Shastra Learning in Kavikulaguru Kalidasa Sanskrit University, Ramtek. He has been pampered with many awards such as Tarkaratnam and Vidwan Mani by Sri Kanchi Shankaracharya, Shastra Kalanidhi by Madhya Pradesh State Governor, and uh, he is currently working as scholar IKS courses, Siddhanta Knowledge Foundation. And uh, together with his brother Surinayana, he is also running his own foundation uh, called Kameshwari Foundation for the spread of uh, Sanatana knowledge. Uh, we are uh, very fortunate to have you, Dr. Srinivas. Uh, please uh, go ahead and start your session. Thank you, Nitinji. Shuklam, Radharam, Vishnum, Shishivarnam, Jadrubhujam, Prasanna, Vadanam, Dhyayet, Sarvav, Dhanok, Shantaye, Ajnana, Tibiran, Dhisya, Jnana, Anjar, Shalakaya, Chakshurun, Meet, Tanyera, Tasmai, Shri, Gurave, Noha. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Parambhanma, Tasmai, Shri Guru Vera Maha, Shruti Smriti Purana, Malayam, Karunalayam, Namami Bhagavad Padam, Shankaram, Loka Shankaram, Shankaram, Shankaracharyam, Keshavam, Bajarayam, Sutra Bhashya Krito, Vandhya, Bhagavan Tau, Nafna. So, uh, thank you uh, once again uh, uh, for giving me this opportunity to share some of my uh, research findings. And I would first uh, like to thank uh, Harikiran ji and Nagaraj ji for uh, actually bringing up this topic and giving me some of the arguments. So based on which I would be uh, trying to explore uh, the um, uh, you know, aspect of Prachanna Baudhattam that has been attributed to Gaudapadacharya and Shankaracharya. So <clears throat> I'll be uh, not going into uh, the Baudhamata Khandana part uh, done by the in the Vedanta texts, but uh, I'll be moreover uh, trying to uh, explore the arguments that are being uh, put forth by the uh, by by uh, particularly in one work uh, called uh, Sources of Shankara's Doctrine by A. J. Alston. Uh, Alston. So I'll be just taking some of the arguments uh, of uh, sh showing, I mean, which actually say that, state that uh, Gaudapada Acharya uh, uh, is actually being, uh, having the impact of uh, Baudha in his uh, work, uh, particularly the, um, the Mandukya Upanishad Karikas. Uh, based on that, I will try to uh, explore those arguments and uh, see whether uh, they have... Uh, uh, um, a good argument or not. So, uh, so I'll just be quoting some of the arguments and I'll try to answer them uh, one by one. So the first uh, uh, argument uh, by uh, Alston was uh, the last book which begins with the salutation to the to the Buddha and ends with a standard Buddhist phrase referring to him. So, uh, in the last book means there are four uh, uh, prakaranas in the Mandukya Upanishad Karikas. So, the last prakarana is called as Alata Shanti Prakarana. And uh, uh, it is stated that uh, it, it uh, starts with the salutation to Buddha and even ends with the standard Buddhist phrase. So, if we actually examine the starting uh, karika, the first karika of Alata Shanti Prakarana, which goes like Jnanena Akasha Kalpena Dharmanyo Gaganopaman Nyaya Bhinnena Sambuddhaha Tamvande Dvipadam Varam. So, here uh, uh, it could be that the word Sambuddhaha and Dvipadam Varam Vande, Sambuddhaha Yaha, Tam Dvipadam Varam Vande is what? Maybe uh, they may refer to saying that it is uh, salutation to Buddha. So here the word Dvipadam Varam is one uh, that has to be examined and the word Sambuddha also. 
So what does actually the commentary of Shankaracharya say is Sambuddhaha means Sambuddhavan. That means Nyatavan. A person who actually known, has known that Nyaya Bhinnena Sambuddhaha. So uh, all the uh, Gaganopaman, Dharma, Nyanena, Akasha Kalpena. So everything he is knowing, uh, a person who has uh, experienced the oneness or the Brahma Bhava, uh, I am actually saluting that particular person is what uh, the whole meaning. Sambuddha, Sambuddhavan, Nityame Vaishwaro, Yaha Narayana Akhya Tambande. So here, Dvipadam Varam, the word Dvipadam Varam is being commented as Narayana. How Narayana? It is because the word Dvipada means Purusha. Dvipadam Varam, Dvipada Upalakshitanam Purushanam. So we are all two-legged uh, creatures. So Purushas are two-legged creatures. That is That means the Jeevas. And who is uh, the Uttama among the Jeevas? He is called as Purushottama. So Purushottama is none other than the Narayana himself. And uh, I am going down to uh, or I am uh, uh, saluting uh, Narayana is what uh, we can know from the Shankar Bhashya, Bhashya of this particular uh, part. Uh, so, uh, and uh, we cannot even say that Dvipadam Varam is a word that can be uh, uh, attributed to only Buddha and not to others. There is no other such kind of a linga that we can actually attribute to say that this is Buddha himself. And there may be, uh, and even if you see the ending uh, karika of the Alata Shanti Prakarana, that goes like Durdarsham Atigambhiram Ajam Samyam Vishardam Buddha Padamananatvam Namaskurmo Yathabalam. So here may be Ananatvam Padam Buddha Namaskurmaha Yathabalam. If a Vedantin actually sees this, there isn't much actually to commentary upon this because Ananatvam Padam is again stating uh, the oneness aspect of it. And uh, uh, Ananatmam Padam, that is the Brahman himself and Namaskurmo Yathabalam because I can only do Namaskara to him. Uh, even though he is Abhyavaharya and uh, uh, Abhyavaharya, that means he cannot be actually uh, explained or explored through words, but still we create uh, some words uh, so that we can actually bow down to him is what we get from here. So nothing uh, very much that we can actually see that uh, it actually states the Buddhist uh, uh, aspect here. Uh, so there is no clear intimation or lingam to assert that the salutations are addressed to Buddha. And if uh, the argument further can be that uh, the word Sambuddha is being stated in the first shloka and hence it is the, uh, it refers to uh, uh, Buddha Bhagavan, if we say that, uh, then we need to examine the whole Alata Shanti Prakarana. And uh, if we see the Alata Shanti Prakarana, uh, ala, uh, uh, at least uh, in the hundred shlokas in Alata Shanti Prakarana, we find the word Buddha six to seven times. Particularly in the shlokas 19, 42, 80, 88, 98 and 99. And apart from one uh, instance in the 99th shloka, all the other uh, uh, instances of the word Buddha doesn't mean uh, Buddha Bhagavan, but it means uh, Paramartha Darshi or Advaita Darshi. Uh, based on that context, whatever is uh, available, based on that context, uh, we cannot say that uh, if we take the word, the meaning to be Gautama Buddha, then uh, Buddha Bhagavan, then uh, the the whole uh, uh, shloka will be meaningless. Only in one place uh, where uh, the word Buddha means Buddha is in the 99th shloka, uh, where it is stated Naitad Buddhena Bhashitam. So, Kramate Nahi Buddhasya Jnanam Dharmeshu Tayinaha Sarve Dharmas Tatha Jnanam Naitad Buddhena Bhashitam. So here, uh, there is two times the word Buddha. Buddhasya, Tainaha, Buddhasya, Jnanam, Dharmeshu, Yat Kramate, Sarve Dharmaha, Tutha. So here the first word Buddha means the Paramartha Darshi. And Naitad Buddhena Bhashitam is again refuting uh, that this Jnana, Jnaya, Jnatra, uh, Abhinnam Yat, or uh, Vilakshanam Yat, uh, Paramartha Tattvam, Idam paramartha tattvam buddhena nabhashitam. That means, uh, so here uh, uh, it seems to be very much near to whatever the Vijnana Vadins say, but it is not that much near. So in the Bhashya himself, Shankara himself says that Yadyabi Bahyartha Nirakaranam Jnana Matra Kalpanacha Addavaya Vastu Samipya Muktam 
किंतु इदं बुद्धेन न भाषितम इदंतु परमार्थ तत्वम अद्वैतम वेदांते श्वेव विज्ञेयम सो व्हाट इज दैट परमार्थ तत्वम दैट इज बीइंग परफाउंडेड इन द श्लोक इज ज्ञान ज्ञेय ज्ञातृ भेद रहितम परमार्थ तत्वम अद्वयम एतत न बुद्धेन भाषितम सो बुद्ध भगवान डिड नॉट एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन एनीथिंग रिगार्डिंग द परमार्थ तत्वम व्हिच इज ज्ञान ज्ञेय ज्ञातृ भिन्न भेद रहितम सो Uh, and he even states that yadyapi bahyartha nirakaranam jnana matra kalpana cha so the vijnanavadins actually they refute all all the uh, bahyarthas that are the external objects to be uh, satya and they say that everything is vijnana matram so they say jnana matra kalpana cha yadyapi advaya vastu samipya muktam it is very much near to the arguments of advaita tattva where jnana is eternal but for them the this jnana is kshanikam so hence it is very much near but not totally near so that is why the view of the buddha which rejects the existence of external objects and asserts the existence of consciousness alone is said to be similar to or very near to the truth of the oneness of atman but this knowledge of uh, oneness which is the ultimate reality cannot be attained uh, uh, can be only attained through veda so there also we can see that uh, gautam uh, gaudapadacharya he himself is refuting uh, the uh, buddha uh, buddha matam bauddha matam so hence we cannot actually say that uh, uh, here that uh, it is somewhere lenient towards uh, the uh, uh, buddhist uh, uh, fundamentals or uh, uh, accept them their siddhantas and the second argument is gaudapada expresses his agreement with the school of buddhist absolutists that is the madhyabikas who teach the doctrine that nothing can come into being that is the ajati vada so uh, the argument is made that gaudapada expresses his agreement so here uh, they cite the, the fifth shloka in the alata shanti prakarana where it is khyapyamanam ajatim tai anumodamahe vayam विवदामो नतैस्सार्धम अविवादम निबोधता सो हियर अनुमोदामहे वयम द वर्ड अनुमोदामहे वयम इज एग्रीइंग व्हाट इज व्हाट 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 आर वी एग्रीइंग एज वेदांतिंस इज अजातिम ख्याप्यमानाम अजातिम तैः यदुच्यते तैः ख्याप्यमानाम सो द अजातिवाद व्हिच इज बीइंग प्रपाउंडेड बाय देम दैट वी आर एक्सेप्टिंग एंड वी वी डू नॉट एक्चुअली कम इनटू आर्ग्युमेंट विद देम अविवादम निबोधता इज व्हाट सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट in this particular uh, aspect we do not have any disagreements with them is what you will under, we, we can understand only from this fifth shloka but in order to understand <clears throat> as we have the uh, we have uh, a purva paramarsha vachaka shabda that is taihi so it is saying by them who are they in order to understand what actually gaudapada acharya is actually uh, explaining here we need to know the previous two shlokas to understand the context itself so what are those भूतस्य जातिमिच्छन्ति वादिनः केचिदेवहि अभूतस्यापरे धीराः विवदन्तः परस्परं भूतं न जायते किञ्चित् अभूतं नैव जायते विवदन्तः अद्वयाह्येवं अजातिं ख्यापयन्ति ते सो व्हाट व्हाट डस गौडपदाचार्य मेंट बाय द अजाति इज एक्चुअली इन द प्रीवियस टू श्लोकस द परिणामवाद ऑफ द संख्या एंड द असत्कार्यवाद ऑफ द वैशेषिकस आर बीइंग रिफ्यूटेड सो भूत जाति सो भूत मीन विद्यमान विद्यमान से वस्तु जाति उत्पत्ति सो एन आबजेक्ट विच इज ऐक्चुअली देर अगेन सांख्या ऐक्चुअली एक्सेप्ट दि क्रियेशन ऑफ दि एक्सिस्टिंग आबजेक्ट दट इज सत्कार्यवाद ऐक्चुअली इट इज परिणामवाद सो दि प्रकृति विच इज देर इट से इट ऐक्चुअली ट्रांसफार्म इट से इंटू दि जगत इज वाट इज परिणामवाद सो दीज आर् सांख्या नते न सर्वे एव द्वैति न सो इट इज नॉट ओनली दट ऑल दि द्वैती आर बीइंग एक्चुअली स्टेटेड हियर बट ओनली दि परिणामवादिन्स अभूतस्य अपरे धीरा अपरे धीरा मींस दि वैशेषिका सुसे अभूतस्य अविद्यमानम सो द द सब्जेक्ट टू क्रिएशन व्हाटएवर इज बीइंग क्रिएटेड इज नॉट एक्जिस्टिंग बिफोर इट्स क्रिएशन सो दैट इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज असत कार्यवाद अभूतम सो अविद्यमान सो दैट ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज नॉट देर प्रयर टू इट्स क्रिएशन इज बीइंग क्रिएटेड इज व्हाट दि वैशेषिका से विवदंत विरुद्ध वदंत हि अन्ोन्यमिछति जेतुम अति सो दे द परिणामवादिन्स एंड दि असत्कार्यवादिन्स दे एक्चुअली हैव अ डिबेट अमंग देमसेल्फ्स दे रिफ्यूट दि अदर्स आई मीन 
uh, in between they refute each other so the parinamavadins refute asatkaryavadins asatkaryavadins refute parinamavadins this is the state so in the fourth shloka he says bhutam na jayate kanchit abhutam naiva jayate so what does the vaisheshika say whatever is there it cannot be created is what the vaisheshika say and they refute uh, uh, sankhya and abhutam naiva jayate uh, so the sankhya say that whichever is not actually existing that cannot be created so asat cannot be created it's so, like shashabishana that cannot be again created and based on this logic they say that uh, asat karyavada is not uh, possible is what the sankhya say vivadantaha so so in this way actually they are refuting the creation itself so this is the creation in paramarthika sense is what gaudapadacharya meant vivadantaha advayaha so actually they are refuting each other and actually if you combine those both arguments they actually substantiate that the creation itself cannot be paramarthika it cannot be real so which is what uh, actually the vedantas also say ajatim khyapayanti so the creation the paramarthika creation the paramarthika the real the creation and the reality of creation is not actually accepted in the advaita so vivadantaha viruddham madantaha advaya advaitiraha hede anyonyasya pakshu so they pratishedanta what do we do so nothing is there for us as advaitins to actually uh, 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 put forth uh, any our arguments because our arguments are being substantiated by the both arguments of the sankhyas and the vaisheshikas is what uh, the the two shlokas prayer to this shloka actually tell us so by this if you actually now actually again come again uh, through the fifth shloka ख्याप्यमानाम अजातिम तैहि अनुमोदामहे सो इट इज दैट व्हाट एवर द बोथ द कंबाइंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द बोथ आर्ग्युमेंट्स ऑफ द सांख्यास एंड वैशेषिकास इट इज एक्चुअली स्टेटेड दैट नथिंग सो देयर कैन नॉट बी एनी क्रिएशन व्हिच इज पारमार्थिका एंड वी एक्सेप्ट दैट तैहि यद उक्तम तद अनुमोदामहे वयम सो सो देयर इज नथिंग दैट वी हैव टू uh uh substantiate from our side is what uh, uh gaudapadacharya uh, says here nataihi sardham vibadam so we there is no need for us to actually uh, debate or contradict with them because uh, the the culmination of their both arguments is something very much uh, accepted by us so there is no need there is no ground for us to debate with them and hence we do not uh, uh, debate with them and avivadam nibodhata avivadam is what the parabrahma is avivadam vivada rahitam paramartha darshanam anugyatam asmadihi tat nibodhata janihi so he is addressing his shishyas that's uh, that you know you need to understand this advaita tattva and <clears throat> and there is another argument that the ajativada is something a buddhist concept and not something which is very much uh, related to the vedanta and hence this ajativada the ajati ajativada is being taken from the bauddhas is what uh, the argument could be so if we actually see the upanishad vakyas ajativada means uh, jati rahitattvam that means uh, lack uh, that which cannot be created is what is ajati सो न जायते म्रियते वापश्चित नाजन कुतो कश्चिन न बभूव कश्चित अजो नित्य शाश्वतो यम पुराणो न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे इस फ्रॉम द कठोपनिषद एंड अनाद्यनंतम महत परम ध्रुवम अगेन दिस इज अगेन अ कथा वाक्य अनाद्यनंतम मींस दैट व्हिच इज नॉट हैविंग अ क्रिएशन नॉर हैविंग अ डिस्ट्रक्शन सो एसेंशियली दैट इज अजाति अनंतम ब्रह्म अगेन अनंतम अगेन सेइंग दैट इट कैन नॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉयड अजोह्येको जुषमाणोनुषेते जहात्येनां भुक्तभोगा मजोन्यः इज अगेन फ्रॉम द श्वेताश्वरोत्तर उपनिषद् वेयर ही सेज दस अजः एकः एकः अजः दैट मींस द आत्मा और द परब्रह्मन ही एक्चुअली सिट्स देयर एज द साक्षी देयर एंड अजः अजरः इति अगेन फ्रॉम द बृहदारण्यक उपनिषद् वी हैव अजः अजरः स्टेटिंग द स्वरूप लक्षण ऑफ परब्रह्मन and sa ev sava esh mahan ajः आत्मा अगेन इज फ्रॉम द बृहदारण्यक उपनिषद् सो many places in the upanishad itself we find this ajati uh, vada or uh, the ajati tattva uh, of the parabrahman that means uh, so this is nothing uh, uh, new to the vedantins that they have to actually draw this concept from the buddhist uh, uh, siddhantas is what uh, uh, we can actually know here and this third uh, uh, argument would be 
finally he sums up by saying it is from the mahayana that we have to learn what things have to be avoided and what are not to be sought after and cherished so this is something the site which is so he's saying that we need to learn things from the mahayana uh, school uh, uh, in order to uh, avoid that uh, i mean we know in order to get a clarity of our own siddhanta we need to learn something from the mahayana is what the uh, argument is so what is that shloka the shloka is heey gneya apya pakyani vigneyani agrayanatah tesham anyatra vigneyatu upalambhas trishu smrutah so here probably the word agrayanatah uh, could have uh, 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 been the, uh, the 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 substratum of their argument that uh, from the uh, mahayana that vigneyani what what are vigneyani heey gneya apya pakyani maybe here the word agrayanatah could have meant uh, from madhyamikas but actually it is not uh, uh, true here because the ultimate truth that is the brahman is to be realized first so agrayanatah means prathamatah it is not from someone else so uh, and in the context of these uh, things to be abandoned and realized apart from the ultimate truth everything else is mere illusion or mere uh, you know subject to illusion a product of ignorance in the three things that are to be abandoned are heya gneya apya pakyani so what are they heyani laukikadini trini so heyani what are to be uh, actually uh, left over is the three avasthas so again here it has a relation to the uh, chatushpad brahma where it is said the turiya avastha in order to experience the, the true state of parabrahman that is the turiya avastha you need to actually uh, uh, leave all the three avasthas that is jagrat swapna and sushupti avasthas and so so here heya gneya apya and pakya they have different meanings and all these four have to be known in order to leave them first of all so first of all you need to know what is the uh, true uh, nature of parabrahman is what the actual shloka here means so there is nothing uh, here a very uh, uh, no strong argument that we can make that here that uh, it is said that from the mahayanas that we have we need to know something so that cannot be even substantiated and uh, the other argument that is seen is uh, nagarjuna's commentator chandrakirti says in the work of uh, in his work called prasanna pada that that is the commentary of the madhyamika karikas of nagarjuna that objects are only perceived through the distorted double vision or thimira of knee science their true nature that is the atman is perceived by the masters through the yoga of non vision so their something called as adarshana yoga has been uh, explained in the prasanna pada that is the commentary of uh, nagarjuna's madhyamika karika so he say he states further that this answers to the originally buddhist yoga of non contact that is asparsha yoga so actually it is adarshana yoga that is stated in the buddhist texts and the gaudapada acharya has used the word asparsha yoga Uh, that has been taught by gaudapada which is originally buddhist is what uh, he states so the citations are the uh, 39th shloka in the third prakarana vaitathya prakarana advaya advitiya prakarana advaya prakarana and the fourth uh, the second shloka of the alata shanti prakarana so the word asparsha yoga is definitely seen there asparsha yogo vai nama durudarshah sarva yogina yoginah bibhyati yasmat abhaye bhaya darshinah so what is asparsha yoga here sparsha means sambandha or contact or relation and asparsha means a, a, an entity which does not have any relation so what is that that is parabrahman so uh, that is what even uh, shankaracharya also says asparsha yogo nama ayam sarva sambandhakya sparsha varjitatvat asparsha yogo nama so the name of this is asparsha yoga because it deals with something uh, an entity which is asparsha which is not having any kind of relationship that is nothing but parabrahman and in the other shloka asparsha yogo vai nama sarva sattva sarva sukho sarva sattva sukho hitah avivado viruddhascha deshitastam namamyaham so again here again you have asparsha yogo vai nama asparshanam again sparshanam sparshah sambandha na vidyate yasya yogasya so which uh, doctrine or which upadesha doesn't uh, speaks something related to uh, uh, you know uh, asparsha 
that is parabrahma is asparsha yoga the name of that particular doctrine would be asparsha yoga which is nothing but again the advaita parampara so here also the word asparsha meaning brahman parabrahman is not uh, new uh, to the vedantins because uh, while uh, explaining the swarupa lakshana of parabrahman in kathopanishad अशब्दम अस्पर्शम अरूपम अव्ययम तथारसम नित्यम अगंधवच्चयत अनाद्यनंतम महतः परम ध्रुवम निचायतम मृत्यु मुखात प्रमुच्यते सो हियर आल्सो वी हैव अस्पर्शम द वर्ड अस्पर्श मीनिंग व्हिच इज द स्वरूप लक्षण ऑफ परब्रह्म हिमसेल्फ दैट इज देयर इज नो काइंड ऑफ रिलेशन एंड इवन इन द व्याख्यान आल्सो वी कम टू नो दैट तम विदित्वा नलिप्यते कर्मणा पापकेना इज अगेन फ्रॉम द बृहदारण्यक उपनिषद तम विदित्वा दैट मींस आफ्टर एक्सपीरियंसिंग परब्रह्मन नलिप्यते कर्मणा पापकेना सो देयर इज नो कर्मलेप टू दैट पर्सन हु हैज एक्सपीरियंस्ड द परब्रह्म तत्व इज व्हाट इवन द बृहदारण्यक उपनिषद स्टेट एंड हियर इन माय आर्गुमेंट आई एम एवरी टाइम ओनली ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग इन द उपनिषदिक वाक्य ना आई एम नॉट इवन गोइंग टू भगवत गीता इफ आई गो टू भगवत गीता देयर आर मेनी Uh, citations that I can provide, stating that these concepts are very much original to the Upanishads and they have nothing to do with the uh, Bauddha Parampara. And another uh, from the Katha Upanishad, Nalipyate Loka Dukhe Na Bahya. <clears throat> Nalipyate. Again, here the Asparsha uh, element is also being propounded. So uh, there is uh, no need to actually state that uh, Asparsha Yoga is something that has come from the Madhyamika Karikas. and another <clears throat> very famous uh, would be that the mayavada stating that this concept of maya or avidya they <clears throat> come from the uh, vainash uh, from the buddhist uh, i mean the bauddha parampara and that has been taken by gaudapada acharya and and after him by shankara acharya uh, so they are called also as prachanna bauddhas even because of that so we see the concept of maya is not uh, uh, totally uh, we can say that it is only from the uh, bauddha parampara if we see that indro maya abhif puru roopa iyate mayantu prakritim vidyat mayinantu maheshwaram shweta shuro upanishad maya cha avidya cha swayam eva bhavati ithu in rasimha tapin upanishad avidyaya mantare vartamana so again avidya is also there uh, similarly avidya and maya are used so avidyaya mantare vartamana in katho upanishad duramete viparite vishuchi avidyaya cha vidyate gnata in katho upanishad अजाम एकाम लोहित शुक्ल कृष्णा बह्वी प्रजा सृजमान स्वरूपा हियर अजाम एकाम सो दट इज दि मया और अविद्या इट इज बीन स्टेटेड इन श्वेताश्वतरोपनिषत् माया मात्रद जगत स्थावर जंगम इज अगेन इन दि बृहदारण्य कारिका ऑलसो वी फाइंड इट सो इन दिस वे दि कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ माया और अविद्या इज नाट आक्चुअली समथिंग रिलेटेड टू बौद्ध इट से but it originates uh, from the upanishads is what we can uh, state by these citations uh, so and uh, and it is more clear that uh, shankaracharya uh, has refuted bauddha and uh, you know very vehemently in samudaya adhikaranam and abhava adhikaranam so there are two adhikaranas in brahma sutra uh, brahma sutras in the second adhyaya second pada we have two adhikaranas solely dedicated to refuting uh, all the four uh, uh, you know schools of thought that is the uh, what you call the hinayana and mahayana which are called as kim vainashika vainashika sautrantikas yogacharas and madhyamikas so everyone is being refuted in these adhikarana i am not going to that uh, uh, again uh, what what uh, specifically that they have uh, refuted and even in chandogya upanishad uh, we have this tadhaika ahu asadeve idamagra asi dekameva advithiyam so here asadeve idamagra asi it is again actually uh, stating the uh, shunyata shunyavada of the bauddha is what even bhagavad pada acharya also says that um, eke vainashika ahu asat sadabhava matram pragutpatte idam jagat ekameva agre advithiyam asi iti so sadabhava matram hi pragutpatte he तत्व कल्पयंत बौद्ध सो अगेन हि टेक्स दैट द बौद्ध हि स्टेट दट दट असदेव आसी सो द कामेंट्री ऑफ दिस असदेव असदेव आसी इस एस स्टेटिंग दट दिस वाद ऑफ दि शून्यवाद इन कुतस्तु खलु सोम्य एवं सियादी सो अगेन द उपनिषद इट से आक्चुअली रिफ्यूट्स दट इट कैनाट बी दट असदेव असद असत सज्जाते कथम असत सज्जाते सो द शून्यवाद इज बीन रिफ्यूटेड Uh, there in the commentary of that particular uh, uh, mantra 
So in this way, we see Shankaracharya very clearly refutes Bhautha uh, doctrine. And it, it cannot be said that Shankaracharya is Prachanna Bhautha. And I felt furthermore, in order to, I was very much, uh, uh, I stumbled upon one or two works of uh, the Madhyamika that is uh, very much related to the Shunyavada perspective, uh, where I found uh, rather, uh, 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 there are surprising for me. So maybe furthermore research is needed. So I will just put forth uh, uh, some of my uh, understandings uh, from two works of the Mahayana school of thought of the Buddhism. So it is Pragna Paramita Artha Pindartha Sangraha is one work by, by Dingnaga. And the other work would be Pragna Paramita Hridaya Sutram. So <clears throat> what is Pragna Paramita? So Pragna Paramita is Paramita is Parangata, that is perfection. So it is a key concept in Mahayana uh, Bodham, often translated as perfection of wisdom. So Pragnayaha Paramita. It refers to a profound understanding or insight into the true nature of reality. So this is what is Pragna Paramita and that is the ultimate for the Mahayana school of thought. So uh, there are many uh, uh, texts uh, that actually have, uh, they have condensed, the they have they brought in very much uh, 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 gist of the, the, the Siddhantas of uh, Madhyamika school. One of such uh, works would be uh, uh, Pragna Paramita, uh, Pragna Paramita Pindartha Sangraha by Dingnaga. Dingnaga is a very famous Madhyamika Bautha who is who has even uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, written some of the very uh, famous uh, Nyaya Granthas also. So the first sloka goes something like Pragna Paramita Jnanam Advayam Sa Tathagataha Sadhya Tadarthya Yogena Tachabhyam Grantha Marga Yo. So this is very uh, astonishing for me initially because what is Pragna Paramita is Advayam Jnanam. So the oneness, the knowledge of oneness itself is Pragna Paramita. Sa Tathagataha. So whoever is having this Pragna Paramita is called Tathagataha. So normally we even say that Tathagata Buddha. So that means a person who is having this Pragna Paramita. And this has to be Sadhya. So one has to actually try to achieve this state of Pragna Paramita. And for that, what you have to do, you have to study the uh, Granthas that uh, actually lead towards Pragna Paramita and other uh, uh, sadhanas that have been uh, uh, prescribed in that path is what this shloka says. So here the word Advaya is very much, uh, uh, you know, uh, that plays a very key role stating that uh, nothing but uh, the knowledge of oneness is what is, again, this is what is called as even Shunyata. And very much near to the, the Nama Rupa Atmakam Jagat, the concept of the Jagat being only Nama and Rupa, that, but not Paramit, Paramarthika. So in the Vedanta also we say that Nama Rupa Atmakam Jagat. So Nama Matram Idam Rupam Tattvato Hyasva Bhavakam is again what uh, this uh, text says. So this Jagat is Asva Bhavakam. It is not eternal or it is not there in the Paramarthika sense. And Nama Matram Idam Rupam. So Nama Matram and Rupam. So again, here we have Nama Rupe Vyakaravani. And um, again, in Chandogya, we get that, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, Vacharambhanam, uh, Vacharambhana Shruti, uh, stating that the actual Jagat is nothing but Vag Alambana Matram. So the substantial substratum of this Jagat is nothing but the Vak itself. So that is, uh, in Paramarthika sense, the um, Jagat doesn't exist. And Kritrimam Nama, Vachyascha Dharmaste Kalpita Yataha. Again, this is another uh, citation from the text itself stating that Kritrimam Nama. So that is Nama is Kritrimam. This is artificial. This is not nat natural. Vachyascha Dharmaste Kalpita Yataha. And even the other Rupa and other attributes that are being uh, experienced in the Jagat are nothing but Kalpita. So they are all again uh, subject of illusions and they do not have any uh, uh, what you call um, existence of their own. And interestingly, in the uh, 52nd uh, shloka, we find uh, what is shunyata. Normally, we have this view that shunyata means nothing. So, uh, nihilation, I, I suppose, that is what the word that is used in, in uh, English. That means existence of nothing is what is shunyata. But here we find shabdartha pratishedoyam na vastu vinivaryate eva manyeshvapigneyo vakyeshvartha vinishchayaha. So, here it is saying that it is only shabdartha pratisheda. And na vastu vinivaryate. That means there is something, something there. So what is that vastu? It is not being said. 
so this is how you have to understand the shunyata or the uh, the actual uh, nature of the prajna uh, paramita is what uh, the particular text says so this is very much near to what we actually know and even our understanding of shunyata being uh, non existence of everything is also not true is what uh, i can uh, actually we can understand from uh, this uh, shloka and one another uh, work of uh, uh, avalokiteshvara bodhisattva is prajna paramita hridaya sutram wherein uh, which is very short uh, work of eight sutras uh, where the uh, the 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 nature of shunyata is actually uh, uh, being uh, explained so one sutra i'll just uh, go through one sutra which is very much near to the upanishad uh, ideas so shunyatayam narupam navedana nasanya nasamskaraha navignanam na chakshu shrotra ghrana jishtva kaj manamsi narupa shabda gandha rasas prashtavya dharmaha न चक्षुर्धा यावन्न मनो विज्ञान धातु न विद्या न अविद्या न विद्याक्षय न अविद्याक्षय यावन्न जरामरण न जरामरणक्षय न दुख समुदाय निरोध मार्गा न ज्ञान न प्राप्ति न अप्राप्ति सो दिस वेरी मच नियर टू श्रुति सचैस असब्द मस्पर्शम रूपम अव्यय तथा रसम नित्यम गंध वच्चय अनाद्यन महत परम ध्रुव निचाइयत मृत्यु मुखात्मुच्यते न त्र चक्षुर्गछति न वग्गछति नो मन न विमो न विजानीमो यथेत दनशोष्या न जायते म्रियते वापश्चि ना भूतवा न भविता वा न भूय तदेजति तन्नजति तदूरे तद्वंदके तदंतर से तदुसर्व सेवाक्य सो बै सींग आल दिस् एंड हियर इवन शून्यता डजेंट मीन एज ई प्रीवियली सैड इट इज इट डजेंट मीन दि एक्सीस्टेंस आफ् एव्रीथिंग बट दि 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 पारमार्थिक एक्सीस्टेंस आफ् थिंग्स इज वाट इज बीइंग नेगेटेड एज शून्यता so eternally there is some object is what uh, even they say so uh, the work by uh, a very uh, old uh, um, uh, scholar named potukuchi uh, subramanya shastri so he has actually authored this uh, work called mahayana darshan mulu where he starts uh, his work by a very interesting uh, shloka uh, where he states that uh, uh, pradha uh, pradhanopanishad siddham तत्वैत दर्शन शून्य शब्द व्याचष्टे नागार्जुन मनीषिण सो वाट एवर इज बी प्रपोडेड इन द उपनिषत् दट इज दि अद्वैत दर्शन दिस् अद्वैत तत्व इज बी सैड बै नागार्जुन विद वर्ड शून्य शून्य शब्द व्याचष्टे सो दिस वेरी मच इंट्रेस्टिंग सो इवन दो रईट अवे एट प्रसेंट मे बी ऐ कॉट से दट एज एज अ मोर रीसर्च हास्ट बी डन but by actually going through some of these text what whatever i have stated it seems more that the uh, bauddha parampara itself has reflections of uh, upanishad uh, uh, tatvam rather uh, stating that uh, the advaita parampara from gaudapada acharya has reflections of bauddha it is more that uh, bauddha itself is having a reflection of the upanishadic uh, wisdom and hence it is not needed to say that uh, uh, the uh, advaita parampara which from uh, 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 gaudapada acharya essentially have uh, taken the concepts from the uh, bauddha parampara but moreover these uh, concepts are there in the upanishads themselves and even uh, afterwards in the smritis and in mahabharata we do have uh, which predate even uh, the uh, bauddha parampara that we do have these concepts which have again been propounded by uh, uh, gaudapada acharya and have been substantiated by adi shankara acharya is what uh, we can know and uh, interestingly there is a work called uh, मत विलास प्रहसन बै महादेव वर्मन वेर हि एक्च वेर इन द प्रहसन वन आफ द कैरेक्टर एक्चुअली स्टेट्स दैट बौद्ध हिमसेलफ हाज टेकन मेनी ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रम वेदाता उपनिषत् महाभारत सो द्लोक इज लाइक दिस वेदाभ्यो गृहीवा अर्था यो महाभारतादी विप्राण मिशता में कृतवान् कोश सचय सो टेकिंग द मेटीरियल फ्रम उपनिषत् एंड आलो फ्रम दि महाभारत Buddha, even as the Brahmanas, that means the Vaidikas were wide awake, accomplished a great fortune. Literally, filled up his treasury of establishing a vibrant system uh, from the Upanishads and Mahabharata. Is what um, uh, even the Matvilas Prasanna has to say. So, seeing all these uh, 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 arguments and uh, actually going introspecting with the Upanishadic wisdom and even Mahabharata, that means even the Bhagavad Gita. 
we find that uh, it is not essentially uh, true that uh, uh, Gaudapadacharya or Shankaracharya are Prachanda Bauddhas. Rather, we need to even have more uh, detailed research in whether how much of uh, impact of the Upanishadic wisdom is there on the Bauddha texts is what we have to uh, actually uh, go and see. And definitely there may be some uh, reflection of the Bauddha way of, uh, you know, uh, propounding or exploring things because that was the time when in, when Gaudapadacharya also or Shankaracharya has to have uh, written their texts. So there can be some similarities uh, taking from the style of writing or some of the you know citations may have similarities, but that doesn't essentially mean that they have actually uh, taken uh, you know the help of the Bauddha wisdom and have again propounded something from the Bauddha wisdom is what I uh, I, I would actually try to uh, say here. So once again, uh, I thank uh, Indica Academy for giving me this. Uh, um, Opportunity. Yadatra saushtavan kinchit tad guru reva me nahi. Yadatra saushtavan kinchit tan mama eva nahi. Dhanyavada. Thank you, Dr. Srinivas, for a wonderful presentation. And a refutation of a very popular argument made against Advaita and especially clarifying the teachings of Gaudapada Acharya in the Mandukya Karika. It is very interesting that just like there is a argument of prachana baudhatva against Vedanta. Certain, certain Hinayana scholars have uh, argued against Mahayana schools, calling them as prachana Vedantins. So we find that within the Bauddha bo bo tradition also. So perhaps an uh, interesting topic to explore further. Thank you very much uh, for this presentation.